What's up, players and pimps? It's uh, it's a brand new series on Super Mega with your boys. Yeah, and uh, and don't worry, we won't quit this one. Wink, wink. We're gonna finish this one all the way through. Actually, we're not gonna finish actually, it. Actually, rem- that that was just a joke on how we quit series. Don't actually start saying that that was a commitment to this series. Yeah, I mean. It depends on how fans react to having me on another series. It, if it doesn't go well, then we might. Quit. Jackson, you've become a beloved fan favorite since the beginning. Because back then, people said, who the hell is this guy in my Let's Play? Who's this fucking guy with a list? But now, now they say, which Tucker brother is it in this Let's Play? They're like, oh, it's Chester Cheddarburger. I'm like, well, <laughs> Harrison no. was so funny in Jet Set Radio. Well, let's get started. I, I still get Instagram comments where people are like, I loved you as Chester Cheddarburger. I'm like, <laughs> I see that too. Are you trying to be funny or... Well, a lot of people say you just look alike. Well, they, I don't some see pe- why. one not, person thought you were brothers. the eldest. So I say we go to my 2013 file. <laughs> uh, so this is I, we've been wanting to play this on the channel for a while, and uh, Jackson is actually a fan of this game and said, "Hey, I can play this game. I love this game." I love Super Mega Series where Ryan and I can just sit back and have someone else play the game. This takes place in Tokyo? Tokyo yeah, dude. Toe. Tokyo Toe. Shibuya! Ooh. Shibuya Cho. No, no, no. Cho means, uh, street, I think? Shibuya Cho? Ooh, a pirate radio station. Is that R. Professor K? I think that's Professor K, bro. Shouldn't you be Professor R if it's a pirate station? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> you can't be dropping that gold in the beginning, Jackson. Yeah, I, I'm coming out of the gate strong with this series. Yes, you are, my friend. Yes, you are. I love the art style in this game. This was for Dreamcast originally, right? Tell it to Stan Lee. So wait, so there is just some lunatic who just has like a fucking Clint Eastwood magnum yeah. and will shoot His you point 45. blank if he sees you skateboarding or graffitiing up the walls. Right, it actually is a part of the game. <laughs> I think I'm that's, not even joking. <laughs> that's what we need to... Uh, it's Clint Eastwood himself. He did the mocap <laughs> he's back in a, on Dreamcast. He's in, dude, I want to see Clint Eastwood just try at his age to play like Elvis. <laughs> I think they try to play a video game. Thank you very much. God, is he still making movies? Uh, I dated underage women all the time. He's a Mike Bloomberg supporter. He was like, I no longer support Donald Trump. Now it's Mike Bloomberg. Who's this quack-lipped freak? <laughs> Dude, he's doing the duck lips. <laughs> Ooh, I like this guy's outfit. It's like a sick little jumpsuit. Get that, get that spray paint, Jackson. Tag that wall. Jackson just wiping his eyes and nose and then putting it all in the controller. Dude, there's slime all over the controller. Like we're Jackson. not going through a pandemic already. Yeah, you know. Jackson just single-handedly started a brand new pandemic <laughs> with that. I'm actually uh, improving all of our immune systems here. So. You know, I've heard of the bird flu. What about the turd flu? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's coming straight from Jackson, I'll tell you I know, what. right? I was about like, that's a Jackson joke. And, uh, you know, it, it's you fine. Know, it's I, okay. I guess only, only, only Jackson can, can really pull it off. I tried, but... I've heard of the bird flu, but what about the turd flu? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Go do that on a on stage at a stand-up parlor. Parlor, well, I, gotta, parlor. I gotta do it like Cat Williams. <laughs> what, what, get beaten up by a, by a high seventh schooler? 7th grader? Or middle he wasn't even a high schooler. He's a 7th <laughs> grader. That video is great because I, I just I'm like... I'm sure a 7th grader could beat me up. Like what? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, same. But what is he doing playing football with like seventh graders and then gets in a fight and gets his ass whooped? It was a Make a Wish Foundation thing. <laughs> like it was just like, I want to be beaten up by Cat Williams. It's my dream. But I don't want to do this, and I know the media is gonna spin it. But I'm doing this for charity. So I've heard of the bird flu, but what about the turd flu? I'm a pimp named Slickback. <laughs> that's, Man, that's probably his greatest role. Oh, or, is that or, Norbit? Yeah, and Dude. wasn't he? I don't know. He played a pimp and others. He was in Norbit, but no, he was in a. That was Boondocks. Was this man ever a real pimp? No, I, I don't know. Damn, that sucks, man. I, I was hoping he wasn't a fraud. Was Snoop Dogg ever a real dog? Come on, these are mm, life's biggest questions. That is a good. Well, actually, maybe at some point he was, man. Because think the matter that makes him up at some point could have been a dog. Is this where Clint Eastwood runs out? Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Damn, his hair's Clint moving. Eastwood Radio. <laughs> God, his teeth are really nice. I wish I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using the, uh, whatchamacallit, the company that sponsors us, Candid. I'm, I'm going to be using the, the thing to get rid of my snaggle tooth. 
out. So we'll see if it works, Candid Co. It's better than having to fix yellow teeth from smoking, I'll tell you that. Well, you can just get those Crest White Strips. They work like in, in two days, you see a difference. It's still not good for your teeth, right? Bleach and all that shit? No, it makes your teeth really sensitive. Yeah. And it does hurt. And I have strong teeth. You know, I can bite right into ice cream with no problem. I don't want to give that up. You can bite steel. I can bite with my front teeth. I can't with my back. I Prove can... how strong your teeth are. Dude, what those guys do, like, they pull the trucks with their teeth? No, nah, I'll, 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 I'll... In the Guinness I'll, World Records book? I'll eat dry ice on live stream. <laughs> has nothing to do with your teeth. You're just going to burn the fuck out of your mouth. Uh, are you telling me that teeth touching dry ice wouldn't be sensitive, Matthew? Actually, that would be incredibly painful. Okay, so you're just talking out of your ass. I'm not talking out of my For ass. For what reason? I didn't, For no, what reason I'm were sorry, you talking, I'm like, not talking out of my fucking ass, Like, Ryan. you just didn't even I'm think about what I said. I did think about what you're saying. Like, you saying. But you heard some show, nouns and adjectives. If you want to show how strong some, your teeth are. Some, some connecting words, like to and and. And you just went. I want to see you uh, chew, uh, bite through a phone book. Easy. Right, like, rip it with your mouth. I'll be like, one bite from a Ned's Declassified Cuck Survival Guide. And then, what we can do is, oh, uh... Let's watch Due Date instead of this, actually. <laughs> Sorry, the Netflix thing popped up and it gave us an option to watch Due Date. With yeah. Robert Downey Jr. and Zach Galifianakis. The remote got bumped and it was like, you want to watch Due Date? <laughs> I've seen it twice. I've never seen it. Right. Because it was like... From the creator, from the creator of The Hangover, and I, and I've always been a fan of uh, planes, trains, and automobiles, and I so love it kind of, planes, trains, and automobiles. it kind of looked like that type of vibe, and it was going for that vibe, but you can't beat planes, trains, and automobiles. No, it's like one of the best movies. Every year I watch it on Thanksgiving. It's, it's like, my favorite Steve traditions. Martin film, other than Cheaper by the Dozen. Oh, too. but have you seen The Jerk? I have not. Someone said that that's their favorite. It's, and it's I have mine. Still not it's seen so the good. Jerk. It's so good. Um, like you that, connect that was, with it a lot. Are you thinking about that one scene, Jackson? It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one where on the cover he has a big nose? On the VHS cover? I think so. Uh, he's just he's a, like sideways and he has a big nose. That's big. No. You're thinking of the live big action the Pinocchio one with, the with Steve Martin. That's uh, that's big fish. I'm gonna look up. Big fish. Oh, bit. <laughs> Dude, Big Fish is a good movie. Are we making graffiti? Yeah, I was gonna say uh, one of the best things about this game is you can make your own graffiti to go tag things so you don't get placed with a heavy fine by police. Oh shit, that's oh, awesome. Never mind. Okay. What, what was the one with Steve Martin with the big nose? Uh, it was just called Big Nose. Steve, no. But, but I'm gonna look graffiti. that up. Yeah, Matt, Steve Martin. You, uh, you wanna do small, large, or extra large? I'll do extra large. Doesn't it, didn't it already save the ones we created last time? I don't think it did. No, it didn't. What? I saw a penis. Well, go. That was in the other file. Oh. Damn. Yeah, we we tried this game a little earlier, and uh, Ryan, I think uh, that was for Jackson fun. made a penis. No, I didn't make the penis. I made the uh, what was the who made one? the penis? I th I think you made the oh, penis. Oh, it's literally no. it's just a movie called Roxanne. <laughs> oh, with the pointy nose. The jerk is great though. Mine was the really big one. Ryan had the penis because it said Reagan on it. Oh, that's right. It's gonna be hard to re remake that. What was one. the text of mine? Mine said. But I'll try. Funny. Well, mine said cracker. I just oh yeah, yours just said cracker. Oh, is it gonna be something about piss? No, no, no. Actually, yes. Now that I gave you the Now idea. that you gave me that. Well, it can't be a penis pissing. No, it's not going to be a penis pissing. Because I, I already called dibs on the penis I'm art. just going to do some really cool, uh, like, box art letters that says piss. You guys like what I'm what I'm working on? Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Piss. And then I'll do, just for you, Jackson. I'll do the, the famous. Oh, God. It's really hard doing this with the joystick. Oh God! I don't think I have enough room to just, do. You know, How do you do, do it again? I forgot. Do your well. I usually you start out with uh, three lines on top, three lines on bottom, and yeah. then you do the cones on the top. Not the cones, but the triangles on top, and then you connect the uh, lines, like the two outermost lines. Uh, it's hard to explain. <laughs> they just go like this, and then the bottom ones go straight up or something. Shit like that. Oh, gotcha. There's an image up. Well, that's the best I could do. Okay. Um, let me just add a little more piss spatter. Will it cover up the piss though? Well, yeah. I'm not gonna put it, it behind, behind it. The, yeah, it's uh, gonna be a. Uh, um, see, just like some like some spray over here, dude. So I've been having this like, I don't know if it's a kidney issue or a UTI, but I went to the doctor because I've been having some pain where my right kidney is, and they said there was bacteria in my in my piss, and uh. I've been having a couple other symptoms, and one of them is after I I put my penis away, more pee comes out every time. 
So it's so fucking annoying. I'll pee, even after nothing. You shake, you know? Yeah, I'll shake it. I'll even do the thing where I'll push up on my gooch to make sure that everything's kind of getting out there. And then I'll put it in, and the next thing you know, I got piss going right down my trousers. At least it doesn't happen when you shit. Oh, that, mm, mm, mm. Good thing those are mm. two separate. So at least we're not like birds, you know? Yeah. Having to use the same hole for both, unfortunately. It can be kind of nice, I think, actually. Having a cloaca? Wait. Would you like to save graffiti? Yes. yes. That's my piss graffiti. All right, uh, Mr. McGee, you want to make the next one? Yeah. Ooh, you are you so, gonna remake uh, your old one? Create new graffiti? Yeah. And then I'm gonna go back. Didn't I do small? You did small last time. Small. I'll 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 keep it small. <sighs> they should definitely either remake this game or make a sequel uh for Switch where you can like draw on the well, I touch wish screen. They've never re-released Jet Set Radio Future, and it's on the original Xbox. Wait, they never released it? Re-released it. Oh. Like, they have it on the original <laughs> Xbox, but they never released it since. Wait, damn it. I thought I'd put a hold up. Wait, is that isn't that how you That's how you spell it? Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Rayagon. Okay. And then uh so let me go to paints now. Yeah. Ronald Reagan's creepy looking. Did you know that he uh he said that he entered politics because he was driving in the woods one night with his wife and they saw a UFO and then he blacked out and he woke up uh, with his pants around his ankles oh, uh, and he said that aliens told him to enter politics. So can we can we see the soup mega logo in uh, graffiti, please? Let's see it in Times Square. <laughs> uh, go down to the uh, Bank of America and uh, go ahead and, and slap the soup mega logo in the middle of the night right on the front. We're legally not liable for that, right? You no. 100% are. No, I didn't. How? Am I gonna? They were the ones that did the graffiti. Yeah, but there's like some degree there. There's something. Well, if I told you to go jump off a cliff, Jackson, you did it. Would I get arrested? No, but if I told you to go kill someone, you did it. But that's killing someone. I'm talking about graffiti. It's still a crime. Dude, Matt, I'm actually gonna have to citizens arrest you right now for even <laughs> suggesting that. So put your hands behind your back. Dude, come on, man. Not again. You did this yesterday too. Article 13 of the LA County Constitution clearly states. What's that, it say? Uh, no YouTuber should use their influence for unjust graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> they have to use their powers for only good. Dude, this looks really nice, Ryan. Thanks, man. So yes, right? Yeah. I think Reagan would be proud. You know, we should go tag Reagan's grave with this. I think he'd be <laughs> go, happy. Go tag Ryan Ryan Reagan's Ryan Ryan Reagan. Reagan. Ronald Reagan's grave with this exact All graffiti. Right. Okay. Okay. Now we got the boss. Ryan, what would you want to do as graffiti if you could act if you had like the, the full talent just to like do a beautiful graffiti? He just showed us. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just keep it just cracker? I'm uh, I'm gonna do a little more. You fucking honky. Dude, we can never be politicians now. What? Because there's footage of us saying cracker. No, Damn no. We're, we can't be politicians because of our balls only only fans. <laughs> <laughs> it's an only fans where Matt and I, we're starting it soon. And we've been talking about this legitimately. Yeah, and the only, and it's, it's simply because it's only the balls. And the balls are hilarious. No balls look, are not sexual. No right? one looks at balls and goes, mmm, mmm. Mm. Oh, I'm turned on by those things. I mean, granted, I don't think that many people look at a penis and say that as well. But, um, specifically the balls. There's just something funny. That's uh, why people get kicked in the balls. See, if if one of us were to do some joke where we actually showed our penis, they'd be weird and creepy because they wouldn't feel like one of those guys who's like, like they right. they show it as a joke, but really oh, like deep the, down, it's like they're like, like ooh, like it's the like, video, ah. of, like the video of the guy putting on the condom. That's like, oh my god, my penis is just so big. He's like, ah, damn it, I broke another one. Yeah, time to get out the magnums. Oh, ooh, tight, tight, ow, ow. But like, if it's just us, it's like balls? in like, like if if I'm wearing like plaid, I'm wearing like a like a backwards plaid hat as well with straw oh. hanging out of you know like a piece of straw in my mouth, and then I'm wearing short ass fucking jeans and then just popping right out of the jeans are my balls just the ball hanging out right right yeah it's like a you know how women you know they take those pictures you know you know how these women do it i know how they take those, are, yeah. those back those back pussy pictures well we're gonna take back ball pictures well that's actually already a very popular thing online like like pussy pictures see the perfect but we're not gonna show butthole no this the only thing that gets shown is we'll balls. have a shiny like white kind of star yeah the shiny star that, that they, they use for yeah. like uh the sensor nipples and, and stuff shit. yeah well let's do that man let's uh let's start up our balls only fans also like if we ever take a wicked shit we can post pictures there true so just our balls and shit i like that a lot balls and shit is actually a really good idea actually you know what fuck it just because it's uh <laughs> i 
I think it'll be good. Uh, the link's actually in the description. Do you think we'd be outed as weirdos for sharing our balls with the internet? No, because the people who um, who sign up for OnlyFans they know what they're getting eight, into. Have to be eighteen plus. That's true. That's true. So they're legally allowed to see our testicles. Yep. Do you think anyone out there just has like a straight ball fetish? Like when they think about balls, they just get so turned on. Well, it's like that won't only be the thing. I mean, we'll be wearing like outfits and shit, but every now and then like our balls will just pop out. Can we dress like cholos and and just be sitting there with our balls out on like a low rider? <laughs> like do a bunch of themed photo shoots, like a Mad Men style one where we're like in a boardroom, have our nuts out of the zipper. I'd want to do one uh, like a spread where it's like us, except uh, our, our dick and balls are drawn beautifully by like a like a dawn or something so it's us and it's our penis except it's not our penis and balls what do you mean so like like it's drawn know, over you it? know you know how brendan frazier he went into toon world it would be like us going into like toon world and our penises were cartoons instead of live action oh i like that like we fall into like another dimension into real like sorry um animated new york city and we find our animated penises where are we and then Ryan? as we're going through the portal to go back into real life something goes wrong so we still have cartoon we, we get stuck with cartoon cock and balls and they're like what's the big idea guys why am i not back in cartoon world <laughs> oh this late oh no there's layers to this joke uh, or layers to this to this so art of yours? Okay. to both actually i because my favorite joke ryan does is Real life New York City. When you talk about fall into a portal to real life New York City, so we can battle a Satan in a rock off to save our whoever's soul. We do have to make captured. a movie with that exact plot. <laughs> it's already been done a million times. Not that exact plot, but like, can uh, we fall through a portal into an animated world for a second too? Animated New York City. So yeah. it's fake life New York City. Yeah. Or second life. And it's just New like in New Microsoft Paint. <laughs> we Well, we had this idea for that show and, long and, ago. And, remember? In, in an animated uh, New York City, since everything's so epic and awesome, the Twin Towers are still there. <laughs> okay. 9-11 never happened. Of course. Remember that show we were uh, we were going to write that for like Adult Swim? That we have to pilot? stop cartoon 9-11 from happening. Not that one. Like in Family Guy? <laughs> Dude, where Brian and Stewie have to stop or have to cause 9/11. Classic plot right there. I really and I I really like that one. And I'm sure all the family members who lost people that day like it too. <laughs> Seth well, you know about Seth MacFarlane with 9/11, right? Yeah, he actually was uh linked to some of the terrorists. Yeah. No, like do you know the actual thing though? God, That's, he was supposed to be on God the God scheduled him to die and he cheated death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Holy crap. This is like that one time I got off the flight." I remember uh I Actually, was, it was more of an American dad's good. Yeah. And he goes, and he goes, 9 11. He goes, remember that? Are you time? sure that's not the old Reagan penis? Positive. That's one he just made. Okay. That's the new one, man. Okay. It looks pretty much the same. Bro. That's the new Reagan penis. Uh, who should we play as? I mean, I like her. You, you're gum. the one playing. I love Do gum. her. Do gum. I like that name. I would marry this woman. Is she wearing any panties? <laughs> I guess we'll have to find out. I have to do some special tricks to find out. I think oh, I yeah. saw some balls on us, like legit. It's funny because I was thinking the exact same thing. I didn't see balls, but I was thinking about like what if she had some balls coming out from under there. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Dude, what would happen if she had balls? Dude, well, balls make everything funnier, so. Balls are funny. When I was younger, balls were like the funniest thing, like just jokes about balls. What? Who the fuck am I saying? It still is. Oh, that's what I was going to say, too. Did you know... Apparently, speaking of genitalia, there's a trend going on on TikTok, essentially, where, like, the boys are outing the boys' secrets and, you know, girls out the girls' secrets. And one of the boys, you know, the boys' secrets that's been outed is that uh, we can tuck our here. penises into our into our bodies. Like, we can, like, fold our penises. Classic, yeah. Into itself. Or you, you kind of, you kind of. girls are like, what? What? Are you, are you serious? <laughs> and then the boys are like, don't tell them. Well, what I what I found out very recently from a Reddit thread actually that was like, what is like the weirdest NSFW fact you know? And uh, someone was like, your balls are always moving. And I took my trousers down and I took a peek, and it's true. Like they like your balls just move. Did you have a like a what is it a, a protractor out and everything? No, I was actually at the bus stop, and... but uh, I so I didn't have my protractor with me. But luckily, only a couple couple people saw. Oh, shit, it's the fuzz. Uh oh, Jackson, you better you better do well. I got this shit. I got this, dude. But anybody know the reference? I know, I know the reference. Oh, that's rap. I, I can't remember what his name is, but I I think he took a kidney from from his from his wife and then cheated and divorced her. You know. 
<laughs> cheated on her. So wait, did, do that? did you really do that? Yeah, that's so shitty. I think. What's wrong? That's the alpha. I think I was gonna go. With he should. Well, what is she gonna back. do? Let him die? And what is he gonna do? Not, Not have cheat? sexual gratifications from someone else other than his wife? Yeah, honestly, true. Are you kidding me? True. You know, people like to claim we, li you know, we live in a in a what is it called? A society. Patriarchal society. No, no, it starts with an M. It's Fuck. Like when there's one uh, the monogamous Ooh, monogamous relationship, but we as humans and animals in general are polyamorous all the way. Oh shit. We want to fuck everything that moves. That's why. Hey, that's never mind. I can't say that. I'm all down for polyamory. I was but... gonna out. Uh, I was gonna out a big famous YouTuber for saying that he wanted to. Uh, Go across the his, his a dream of his was to go across the world and impregnate women in each nation so that he would know that a seed of his was in Wait, who each said continent. That? Oh yeah, let's say who Take said that. Take a fucking wild guess, Jackson. Um, I was hey. thinking like, how was hard would it be it. for you and I to just create like a simple yet fun super mega fishing game where it's the super Dude. mega characters you unlock them and there's you different fish. fish and there's different areas and all you do is fish, but like. You and I have to come together, get our minds together to kind of make it... You know how games, they're essentially... A, a lot of the good ones are designed to where the simplicity and... Well, sorry. They're designed for simplicity and it's the way you use that simplicity which makes it more complex and fun. Like a way to do that with a fishing game. I love the idea and there's like collectibles and like tons of different types of fish. Yeah. And we can make up different fish that aren't real and yep. shit. Dude, we, we have, have to like make real super mega fish fishing tournament. Fake fish and then... Like, we could just make, like, we could make a fish where it's just, like, we could get someone to draw just Justin's face on a fish. Yeah, perfect. How about Super Mega's fishing adventure? <laughs> I mean, dude, 100%. I'm actually super down for this idea. You want to actually, like, talk about it? Yeah, like, I do. At, at our next meeting? I, I would love to talk about Because there's been a lot of people who've offered to We can easily get that going. Games. That would be fucking <clears throat> rad. Super Mega's fishing adventure. I love that, man. Let's get started. Oh my god, and you can unlock Jackson as a character, you can unlock Chester Cheddarburger, and you get d different skins, so like, for your character, Ryan, you can unlock like, your Harajuku outfit, your E3 character, There has to be other stuff skins. though, other than like, there has to be one other thing, other than fishing in terms of like, that you, for the gameplay. Unless, we, unless we make the gameplay, I think, really like, the fishing really fun. Plain if, base. If I may. Yeah, yeah, you may. I think what this game needs is two things. So for one, Pulling a tool from my favorite game, one of my favorite games, Animal Crossing. Okay. All your fish get displayed in a little museum. Yes. On Peru's, definitely. That we can go back in. It's a little the aquarium. You can see them static. I think it should around. be see just some swimmers. dilapidated shop where obviously they're Only not taken say, care of. The tanks are dirty. <laughs> I think a little hub, so you have that. Yes. You have your house. You can buy decorations and furnish your house. But you have a hangout yes. room. It's all fish themed. And oh, fishing themed and nautical and, themed. And you have a hangout room where all the characters you unlock are just chilling out, and that's where you can go See. switch characters. Oh, Katamari Damacy style, because yeah. when you switch characters, when you unlock them, they're all just hanging on this little planet, and you run up to one and press A, and then you start playing as that one. I love it. Oh, I yeah. love it. This is actually, I'm serious. Like, I'm actually excited. Oh, this yeah. is, we have to, as I said, it's just a way that we have to make fishing like fun in the game yeah. and not just because the reason button. other games get away with the fishing mini game is because your... there's so much other stuff in the um in the game so it's usually just hey hey so oh, I'd, yeah. I'd want and you can upgrade your your I think rod Stardew Valley is yeah. the best fishing mechanic yeah it took a while to get used to but I do like it dude this game so maybe sick. there can be even a bunch of different methods for fishing I'm like a skating we could make it we could make it more of like a mobile game too <gasps> and I and I just because it's like I wouldn't want to like bother someone with such a simple game Ooh, to make it and run on worms. Steam or whatever, you but like- pay for the worms, each worm's a dollar. That's good, that's good. Wow. <laughs> Ryan, I'm gonna- I'm gonna commit to something for this game. What? I want over 500 fish. Okay. Over 500. That's we can lot. come up- we can come up with that many fish. Yeah, but First get a list of just regular fish. Yeah, that's a- that's-, that's And a, then That go. artist is gonna have a good payday. Hey, I'm- I would love to make some art for I, it I'd too. like to make some fish. I, we- we can work on the whole thing all together. We can all make some I art for that. it. Yeah. Fuck, dude. This is gonna be a good-ass game. Oh, by the way, guys, in the comments below, uh, it's- next month is that time. It's gonna be spooky mega. Uh, so- So please. take a break from writing your hurtful mean comments and- and post some suggestive comments for what you'd like to see. Yeah, what, uh, what There's do you guys wanna see there. for spooky uh -huh. mega this year? Jackson. Yeah? For every time someone gets upset in the comments because your gameplay isn't- isn't as good as theirs. Um, oh, I'm writing cracker. 
we're gonna have to, unfortunately, take a little bit of your pay. Bro, they shooting tear gas at you! Where, where this last fucker at? Get that, get that hey, last one, look at one, the man. map. Oh, I see it, I see it! Oh! Oh shit, go get it, go get it! It's the last one! Oh shit, you only have 150 seconds left! <laughs> there it is, there it is! Hey! hey. What did you get? What Good did job, you get? Good job, buddy! Probably an engine, yep. Okay. Oh, I like the- I really like that ranking system, that's cool. I didn't know you could still use that, but that's fine. <laughs> What a good font. All right, guys. Well, uh, that was the first episode. Jackson's just getting warmed up. And yeah. we're going to be back with some fucking epic episodes of this great game. See ya. Bye. Say bye, Jackson. Bye. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, bring it back in, Justin. <laughs> Hold on, Justin. Don't end it yet. Not yet. That's good. Like this guy, like, Shibuya Cho got some nice art. It's just fucking a penis that says Reagan. <laughs> That's just the word crap. Flames. <laughs> All right. All right. Now bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>